Just a few thoughts. His first concern after the event was his shoes. Not his life. He stands up, proudly showing his head, exposing his head. The Secret Service is all around him, letting him expose his head for this heroic photo op. Have they determined that there are no other assailants around? Okay, the one who did do the thing is down, but how do we know there are not other assailants around working with the first one? Have we cleared the entire area? No. It seems a little strange to me that the Secret Service would let this guy show his head and expose himself the way he does for the heroic photo op. And I'm sorry, but I don't think that Trump would have acted that way if he thought he was really in danger. I think he would have been a cowering mass of quivering fear at their feet if it was real. This is not a brave person. This is a man who lied to get out of going into the military five times, dodged the draft. This is not a hero type of a person. So I don't think it's that far-fetched to question this. Also, the strange way that the, uh, the blood on the hat has me perplexed. It doesn't seem right that it would be on the other side of the hat from where the ear is, but whatever. It just seems so convenient for, for the Trump team very convenient that this would happen right at the time that he's got his back against the wall over this whole project thing that is tied into him that he wants to implement if he becomes president and just now the country has figured it out their their little their little agenda has been exposed for all to see that's a bad a bad thing and they have no way to counter that and the fact that the Epstein files just came to, into light and the allegations made by other children against this man. Seems like a real good time to have a distraction. Yeah, yeah, go for the sympathy votes. I don't know. I haven't quite determined yet in my mind if it's real or staged, but I can see them thinking, I mean, this is not, this is not, a man that gives a rat's behind about human life. I can see them being willing to take out an innocent man to serve this man, to serve Trump. Take out an innocent man. And I can see a Trump supporter being willing to lay down his life in, in the purpose of making it more possible for Donald to win. Okay, yeah, I'll take one for the team. That's what I think. And whether or not it's true, I don't know. I don't think we'll ever know because we're not going to investigate this. We're just going to assume it's all real. Meanwhile, Trump will milk it for all it's worth.